Hey guys, it's Matador, and today we're going to be starting a new cosplay prop build, working from scratch again, just like the last one we did. Today I'm going to start on a prop from Overwatch. Now, everybody and their mother has been playing this, I know. Everybody except me. Full disclosure here, I have not actually played this game yet. But I really enjoy the character design, the weapons look awesome, and I told myself as soon as I saw some of them that I had to make one of them. So today, we're going to start by building Tracer's Pulse Pistol. Now this is going to be kind of a budget build, since like a lot of people, I don't have the money to spend on a huge amount of supplies for these things. So nothing fancy this time, no 3D printing or mold making, but we're going to try to see how good of a prop we can end up with here. Now here's a quick rundown of all the things that you are going to need for this. You're going to want to make sure you have a place outside or in a garage somewhere to work in, just so you don't make too much of a mess in your house. You're going to want a thick cutting mat of some kind, some EVA foam and a couple of thicknesses. Now for the thicker stuff you can get this at a hardware store like Home Depot. They usually sell it in interlocking mats that you put on the floor. Uh, usually you'll find it in packs of four. For anything thinner you can get it at a craft store like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann Fabrics, someplace like that. You're going to want some cutting tools. I only use two for this project. I have a smaller X-Acto knife and then a box cutter for anything bigger that needs to be cut. Make sure you have some sandpaper and a couple of different grits. Try to get one that's coarser and one that's a little bit finer for some detailing. There are a lot of adhesives that work well on EVA foam, but for me, good old fashioned rubber cement has always worked best. Now I am also using a Dremel for this project, which I know those can be a little bit more expensive. So if you already have one, then that's great, you're going to really want to use it. But if you don't have one, they cost about $50, and that, that might be a little bit expensive, but there are other things that you can do if, you're, if you can't quite afford to get one. If this is the sort of thing you're going to be doing fairly frequently though, I would say it's absolutely worth it to buy a Dremel. Now start off by taking a printout of the prop that you're going to be building. I usually lay out my templates in Adobe Illustrator, which I've made a video on here, you can check that out if you want to know how to do that. And I also used Illustrator to outline the additional panels that are going to go on top. That's the thing about building cosplay weapons with foam, is you have to build them out in layers. Lay your template on top of your EVA foam, and then get started cutting out your prop. For this prop we're going to cut out two. That depends on the thickness of the prop that you're going to need, but this one is fairly thin. Now make sure you flip the second template that you cut out so that both smooth sides of the foam will be on the outside of the gun. Okay, here's where the Dremel comes in. Use it to sand down the texture on the EVA foam so that it sticks together smoothly and it doesn't have any weird bumps that are formed by those textures. Now depending on the kind of EVA foam you use, you may not have to do this. But if you do it, I'm going to give you a quick heads up, you are going to get some dust on you. So you might want to make sure you're wearing some old clothes for this one. Now take the templates for the top panels that you cut out and cut those out of your thinner pieces of foam. Go ahead and sand down the edges with sandpaper or your Dremel before you put them on and make sure that they fit the way you want before you glue anything down. Alright, now break out the rubber cement. Quickly lay down a coat on both sides of the pieces that you'll be sticking together. This stuff can take a couple minutes to dry fully, so keep holding it together and make sure that no parts come undone. Within a couple minutes it should be totally dry and you'll be able to work with it. Do the same thing with the outer panels, and just like before, hold them down until you're sure that they're dry. Now you might have some areas on the outside that can start to come undone after a while, so go ahead and put rubber cement in the cracks and just hold that down until it's dry. Now take your Dremel and even out all the edges. Take your time and make sure you keep a really good grip on your prop so you don't slip. And that's all for this part. Next time we're going to be using our Dremel a lot more for some additional detailing on this, but I'm going to go ahead and call this video quits for right now. I hope you've really enjoyed watching it. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to tackle in future videos or any other props from any other games you'd like to see me make, and we're going to be finishing up this prop next time. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and I'll see you guys next time. This is my new workstation. Isn't that awesome? I found this table on Craigslist, somebody was giving it away, and uh, just for free because they were done with it, because as you can see it's not in uh, the best of condition.